Uh, I thought it was really cool. I, I liked it was something different than, uh, you know, totally different than anything I've ever done. I was kind of confused, actually. I, I, I didn't quite understand it, admittedly. I, it wasn't until I read it out loud um, with Sheldon and Jesse there that everything kind of um, clicked together. I guess I was expecting something different, you know. But then I actually read through it and, and uh, he told me what kind of accent to play with, what, what kind of person Jason Arthur was. And it, it, in my mind, it just started to, started to run away. What is going on? Like, what am I reading right now? It wasn't until I actually had everyone um, acting it out with me that everything clicked and it was, it was very bizarre and surreal. You know, after I saw Patrick Dunn and the way it, it all came out, I was real, uh, I wanted to work with you guys again. It was, uh, so when, when he said he had a, a new project coming up and, you know, he told me a little bit about it when I read the, uh, the script, I was, I was stoked to do it. A lot, a lot. Uh, I didn't until I got to know Jesse, you know, the producer. Until I got to know Jesse, um, the character just seemed like you know your basic action character and everything like that. But then I saw what who created the character, you know, and how he was. And me and Jesse, we ended up having a lot of you know a lot in common. So I saw I began to see a lot of the character, you know, in me. I guess I could say a lot. I mean, if, if, if the guy. Um you know, going from the, the father that he was and then turning into that killing machine and not having no feelings. I could see that. If I lost everything that I, I, I care about, I, you know, totally, totally submerge myself in something like that. Other than red hair, nothing. <laughs> My character is very different than me, I think. I'm, she's very cold, um, kind of manipulative, uh, hard. And I'm kind of the opposite of all of that. Strength was definitely his confidence in himself, you know, and, uh, and, and what he's doing. And, and I guess you can say it's a strength and a weakness to say, you know, uh, that he's always right. When you're right, I'm like writer. You know, I guess you can say that. Strength, um, I say she's very intelligent, very analytical. She, she knows what she wants, she wants to get that done. Uh, weaknesses, she's, she's cold, she's kind of a shell of a person. So, I, I would say that's a, that's a pretty big fault. I don't think the guy had any weaknesses. You know, he was just a, it's a brutal machine, I mean, you know, that's... Uh, I mean, I guess the only weakness would be all that, that loss, but I guess he just transferred into uh, rage and... Diedrich obviously had done this a few times, so he and I, you know, we just got along immediately. We talked about films quite a bit. Sheldon, however, surprised the hell out of me. Um, never having acted before, and like the first rehearsal we had together was really awkward, actually, because I had no idea who this guy was, and he had no idea who I was, and he had to yell and curse at me, and it was scary, and we didn't know each other. But like by the end, we all had like you know personal jokes, we were laughing, having fun. So it was really cool. Actually. It was amazing. It really was. Um, I didn't expect to 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 mesh with everybody there, but when I saw that you know people were coming in that I guess you haven't even worked with, you know, when the crew got new people coming in that they haven't even worked with and came together so fluidly, it was it was awesome. It was, it was great. Oh, they were great. Yeah, both of them were great. And uh, you know, even the, not only the actors but the whole crew, you guys. And it was uh, it was just easy. There was no um, no big heads, no egos. Everybody worked with each other. And it was nice. The whole crew was was it was it was cool. It was real cool. You know, it was I loved it. I loved it. Everybody came together. They offered me this, and you know, when I wasn't doing things right, well, when I thought I wasn't doing right, you know. Everybody kind of gave me a little something, you know, so I fit off of everybody. It was really cool working with the crew. It was a, a nice balance, I think, because I think everyone did have fun and we all bonded. But at the same time, it was, you know, it was proficient. Everyone got everything done. You know, we 
when we needed to get town to business, it was like, okay, click, turn everything off, get back to business, and it was really nice. The, I guess you could say the script it, uh, itself for the short is, is, is kind of deep, so um, every character has the potential to have his own backstory, to have his own film, you know, feature film made if, if it came to that, but um, I see the characters going at least three more shows, you know. I, I'd like to see a background on how everything developed and got to that point, how uh, the extractor uh, wound wound up into in the mix of it and um, why why the government had done what it did and how the whole the whole backstory on um, with my character I would really like to see more of her past than where she goes. Um, I would like to see how she ended up uh, becoming sort of the shell of a person. Um, as for like the story I would love to know more about um, you know, new Detroit, you know, what it's like um, socially, you know, like even architecturally. I think, you know, it would be really neat to expand upon. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, with, I guess you could say, with the combination of the both that you just, that you just mentioned, you know, um, uh, it, can, it can definitely have that success, with, especially with the, with the cast and the crew, you know, working together and working on it as well. Yes, I definitely do, because I, I think with films like that, um, they made people think, and contrary to popular belief, people do like to think once in a while. Um, you know, it, they were films, and, and this is too, where you, you kind of leave and you're still thinking about it. You know, it, it sticks with you. Absolutely, I do. Yeah, the, uh, um, you know, just the visual side of it, and then, it's, it's so, uh, the storyline could be deep, people could actually relate to it as far as like a government corrupt and then, you know, all this stuff happens and absolutely I can see this thing, a yeah, summer blockbuster. My know what for, Strange Days. Dark City. Deception. The Matrix. The film, it reminded me of that too, yeah. It's unique because I don't think the stories are even touched. The story itself, you know, it like I said, it has a very the potential to it, it kind of leaves you hanging on which on what every character is like, you know. It's not like everything you see right now. It's, it's almost like a, a live anime, Japanese anime, which has never been touched. I mean, we've even beaten the cure to the punch. That the story is, is deep. The story is it, it it has purpose. It has dialogue. It has relevance. It's very fresh. It again, it makes you think, and I, I like the psychological aspect of it. People want to see what 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 you know the the best of Michigan filmmakers. This is you know this is a you guys need to to look at this and uh, learn from Zonosphere Films, and you know th these these are the these are the guys, and Hollywood needs to watch out because you know you got some really good guys knocking on your door, so you better start producing some good stuff and stop the crap, you know, Zenosphere is about to take over. <laughs>